What is going on, guys? Money Webby here, back again. Another week of golf here. The WGC Mexico Championship is going on this weekend. It should be a good one. A loaded field. We got a lot of top dogs in the world playing. And this one, Dustin Johnson, Justin Thomas coming off the win. John Rahm, Speed, just to name a few at the top. For the salary wise, uh, some things to know in this tournament. Another tournament where you don't really need to use a driver, considering that uh, this tournament is in Mexico City. It's at an elevation of 7,300 feet. So some of these guys like Dustin Johnson, Rom, even Speed, kind of can use the clubs more or the irons. I mean, rather than using the driver. So that would definitely help some of the bombers here. But you definitely got to be accurate at the, on this court. Some tough uh, holes here. We got some long par fives, which would definitely help the guys like Dustin Johnson and Rom. And if we, if we look at the results, there's not many results to look back on because the only time they were played in this course what was uh, last year for the WGC Mexico. They changed up the course. Uh, Dustin Johnson won that one. Rom finished top three, to name a few. Spieth, I believe, finished T12. Uh, so some notable guys finishes there. You can go back and look yourself to see the full leaderboard. But I got my favorite picks for this tournament. My money six, favorite six picks. Um, throw them in the lineup here so their salaries all work out together. Not going to recommend like six guys at the top. But uh, concise, easy to the point. These guys that I'm feeling the most confident on. The stats back them up. Looking at similar stats the last week because it's similar yardage. Uh, and also guys that did well last year because the elevation is definitely something that people aren't used to. Like golfers, they're not playing at an elevation most of the time. So the guys with experience here definitely have a leg up. But before we get going, go ahead and drop a like on the video if you can. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's try to get at least 80 likes on this video. Thank you so much. And subscribe to the channel to get these golf videos every single week for some PGA DraftKings picks. Gonna try to get these out every single week. I really enjoyed last weekend. I got more into the golf. It got me more inclined to watch last week. So it was a great uh, end to the tournament on Sunday. We had Justin Thomas from the video last week. So hopefully we can recommend another winner here. Um, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna at first when I thought about this tournament, I was really gravitating to Dustin Johnson, like I mentioned, with that elevation. Uh, he's just a great bomber. He can kill the ball off the tee. He's in great shape for the so he won't get that like affected by the elevation. I mean, all these guys are in great shape, but Dustin Johnson, the guy's a freak of a nature. So, but the pricing came out, at, and then I saw him at eleven thousand nine hundred. And there's so many guys at the top here that I want to have in my lineup. I really couldn't pay up for him. And he's the defending champion. It's so hard to repeat back to back. So I'm not sure if he's going to be able to win. I think he's the safest out of all these guys that will finish in within the top 10 here. But I'm going to go with John Rahm at 10,600. Similar game to Dustin Johnson. Had a great showing here last year. Finished tied for third. Uh, and he's had an okay year so far. Uh, pretty consistent throughout. Finished first at uh, the Career Builder Challenge. Uh, that was good to see, and also had a good showing at the Century Tournament. Uh, Dustin Johnson won that one, so both these guys kind of play well at the same course, and we saw that both of them played well here last year. So I think he's safe for another top 10 finish and definitely can win. Currently 12-1 to 1 to win the tournament. I believe that's the third best odds tied with speed at the moment. I have some stats that back him up. Like I mentioned, he's a bomber with the elevation here, so that would definitely help him. Uh, 31st currently. T to green, he was even better last year. I believe he was top five T to green last year. And he's a good putter on the Poa greens, which are the greens here. We saw that last year with his putting was definitely on fire. So John Rom, think he can have another sh uh, solid showing here. 10600 you get a $1,300 saving on Dustin Johnson. Both similar games. I think, I think they'll finish around each other. So I'll take that savings and lock in John Rahm. And for my second guy, we're going to go with Tony Finau here. Another guy that can definitely uh, get some strokes gain with Tita Green. And on the approach, if you look at those two stats, he's currently 6th. Strokes gain, Tita Green, and 15th on the approach. Uh, he's not known for his putting. That's the thing that's really been holding him down. But he's actually been better on the Poa Greens throughout his career. So that was good to see and had a good showing uh, at the Genesis Open last time. Finished tied for second. 99 drafting points. He's had a solid year throughout with some good finishes besides the waste management there. But I think we'll have another good showing here. Um, 
Just I don't I believe, yeah he didn't play here last year, but I think he's like I said the stats really back him up here. One those those are the ones that kind of really correlated here last year were the tee to green and the approach. Like I said with this not as much driver here, he can definitely get it done with some of these irons. He's, he's capable of doing that as a player. So eighty five hundred like him a lot, lock him in there. For another guy here that has a similar game, we're pretty much just going with these guys that are very good approach, solid off the tee. Paul Casey is another one of these guys, and he loves the Poa Green. So that is pretty much all of the, like, the three main things I was looking at. Guys that are putting on Poa Green that are actually, I mean, guys that are good at putting up Poa, Poa Greens and guys that are good off the tee, tee to green, and a good approach game. Paul Casey has all of that in the bag. I uh, finished T16 here last year, and it's for whatever reason, I mean, it's only one year of a sample size, definitely small, but the English golfers played very well here last year. We had Ross, uh, Ross Fisher finish the top three. We had um, Fitzpatrick finish top 20. Tommy Fleetwood finished second. Mentioned Paul Casey, T16. All these guys, it seems like they're more experienced for whatever reason in these conditions and elevation. Uh, they're playing all around the world, so they definitely have some more experience in these different kind of scenarios. So Paul Casey here at 8,400. I think he's going to have another good showing here. 14th best stroke, or 14th on the approach for strokes gained, and T4, T to green. So he's a great fit here, and he loves the Poa Greens. Great stats there for his putting up Poa Greens. He's a good putter, so lock him in there. And that gives you some solid guys. I think all of these guys can honestly win the tournament, and you get that savings with John Rom. So for my fourth guy, though, I mentioned Ross Fisher having a huge year last year here. I think he's going to have another good year here. Uh, 8,200, not a bad salary. Finished T3 last year, like I mentioned. And he's a good putter. He's very good on these Poa Greens. He putted very well. He had one of the best strokes in putting here last year. Uh, and he's been very good. Also, the Greens and Regulation there. Greens and Regulation on the Euro Tour this year hasn't played over in America yet this year, but I think, well, this isn't even in America, it's in Mexico, but he's been on the Euro Tour. think he can get it done, though, over here in the PGA. Uh, I mentioned the greens and regulation. It really helped him here last year. I believe he had a 75% green and regulation last year here in the tournament, and that's pretty much been on par with his green and regulation so far in 2018, so that's good to see. think he'll have another good year here, honestly. Uh, top 15, I believe, for Ross, the boss, lock him in there. And for my sixth guy, off the board kind of here, uh, name is, uh, I don't even know, I was typing in his last name, whatever. Uh, I was going to type in Hong. I was kind of mixing up the first and second name. But how ha Tong Lee at 7,400. Um, this guy has serious promise in his game recently. He's a young guy, only 22 years old, but he's had some great high points. In his career, they're giving him a good shot to win. Not a good shot, but a shot to win the Masters based on the odds. So I think he can have a good showing here. He beat out Roy McIlroy in this Omega Dubai Desert Classic. Finished first. He got 30 birdies. Went absolutely insane in that one. Um, and he also had a not a bad showing of the Genesis T-53 uh, over in the PGA. So that's solid to see. Got Shook off some cobwebs there in that tournament. I think I'll have a better showing here, though, with some more birdies. Definitely a higher scoring tournament here. Uh, the winning score was, I believe, minus 14 last year. So I think he can attend. He has a solid tee to green for strokes gain 51st. And he also has a 10th uh, best st uh, strokes gain for approach. So those things are great for correlation to this court. I mean, to this um, course. Uh, so how Tong Lee, like him a lot here. Lock him in there. Nice guy that saves some salary on. Now we got 6,900. Obviously not many options, but a chalky guy that fits in well is going to be Johnny Vegas here. Uh, another bomber similar to Dustin Johnson and John Rahm. And something cool that I found is that with, with Dustin Johnson and John Rahm so far this year, on courses that they played well on, uh, the Century uh, Tournament that I mentioned, that we had DJ win that one and John Rahm finished second. Johnny Vegas finished T7 there, so he played very well on a course that both those guys played well on. And also the career builder, we saw John Rahm take home that one. So Johnny Vegas, similar games, a guy that can bomb it, solid off the tee, has the power with this elevation. So at 6,900, I mentioned that he's going to be probably pretty chalky here. Like he's a name that you recognize at the bottom at 6,900. So a lot of guys are probably going to gravitate to him. 
But I think he's worth ownership because he can return such great value on the price when he gets hot with the driver and just off the tee. So, uh, and he finished T38 last year. Not a bad showing. I think he can improve on that, honestly. And he's just safe, I think, honestly, in this venue, this course, whatever the word you want to mention. Mixing up sports sometimes, but at 6900 solid price here, good value. And honestly, they're giving him some nice odds. The one I believe is 175 to 1. Not too bad for a guy priced at 6900 So lock him in there. And that leaves you with exactly $0 remaining. So he filled out the whole salary. Guys, all that I love that I think can return great uh, value on their salary and have a chance to win here. So John Rahm, Tony Finau, Paul Casey, Ross, the boss, Fisher, Hao Tong Lee, and Johnny Vegas. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on the video if you did. 80 plus likes. I would greatly appreciate it. And definitely subscribe to get these videos every single week. I mentioned last week though, I do NBA drafting picks every single day if you play that as well. Uh, you can get my favorite plays every day for the NBA. So definitely hit that subscribe button and can turn notifications on. Greatly appreciate the support, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Wish you guys the best of luck. It's uh, tinging off here March 1st, Thursday at 5 a.m. So get your lineup set with some of these plays. Uh, and we'll see you back here again next week.